Hey everybody, it's Mr. Smeets, and today I'm gonna to be sharing a six week study plan that you can use to ace the 2022 APES exam. If you're ready to think like a mountain and write like a scholar, let's get started. Before we get into the study plan here, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I'm gonna be posting new videos every week leading up to the exam and you don't wanna miss them. Also, make sure to follow the Apes versus Everybody TikTok if you don't already. I'm gonna be posting 50 of the top topics I think you need to know for the exam in the 50 days leading up to the APES 2022 exam. Now, when it comes to reviewing for the APES exam, there's two basic steps in the process. One is content review, we're reviewing the topics, and you can do that with the 99 videos on my channel that cover all 99 topics, but you also have to practice applying those topics to the multiple choice and the free response questions that you'll see on the exam. Now, the writing in APES you have to do doesn't need to be as complex as an AP history or AP English courses. You don't need complex theses, you don't need elaboration points, but what you do need is clear, concise understanding of APES content and the application of that understanding with clear vocab rich sentences. So this six week study plan is completely centered on those two steps. You can see that there are numerous topics worth of content you'll wanna review each day, but equally, if not more important, is practicing the application of that content to multiple choice and free response questions. But it's, 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 it's easy to, to, to talk about, it's easy to sum it up when you just talk about practice. We sitting here, I supposed to be the franchise. Ape scholar. We in here talking about practice. Yes, practice. So you notice at the end of every one of my videos, there's a practice FRQ. Now that practice FRQ will help you review not only the content you've just learned, but also practice the skill of writing with clear, concise, vocab rich sentences in the application of the suggested science skill provided by the college board. And the research on learning has showed time and time again that students who self quiz themselves after reviewing or learning new content retain that content far better than their peers who simply review it once. But here's the thing, that self quizzing or that retrieval practice as scientists call it only works if you get feedback on whether or not you correctly recalled that content. So how can you correctly make sure that you're recalling the content and practicing the skills? Well, if you want study guide questions, practice multiple choice questions, practice FRQs, all with answer keys, check out the APES Ultimate Review Packet linked in the video description below. I've just added the answer keys for all 99 practice FRQs in my YouTube videos. So now each unit in the Ultimate Review Packet has numerous practice FRQs, practice multiple choice quizzes, and study guide questions all with answer keys. And you can use these answer keys to confirm that you're correctly recalling the content and that you're correctly applying it to the context of the practice FRQs and multiple choice questions. And if you wanna try all of these resources for unit one completely free of charge, check out that link in the video description below. Now, if you don't wanna buy a review resource or you just want extra practice and you've already purchased the ultimate review packet, you can always do retrieval practice yourself by simply covering your notes or pausing one of my videos or covering the content on the screen during one of the videos and seeing if you can verbally out loud explain that content to yourself. You could also write this down in a separate notebook, but the key is afterwards you have to check to see if you recalled it correctly. So unpause the video and hear my explanation, uncover the screen and look at the content on the screen or go back to your notes from class and check to see if you're accurately recalling the content. You can also write the publicly released previous exam FRQs linked in my study guide and use the scoring rubrics for those FRQs that are available on the College Board's website. Now, the thing to know about these publicly released FRQs is that since they're from before 2019, you may see some unfamiliar task verbs on these FRQs like discuss that you won't see on the 2022 APES exam. They also won't be aligned perfectly with the content you've just reviewed because FRQs on the exam force you to recall topics from numerous different units all in the same FRQ. But this is a really important part of the review process and it brings us to the importance of full length practice exams. You absolutely need to prepare with full length practice exams. That means 80 multiple choice questions in 90 minutes and three FRQs in 70 minutes and ideally back to back with only about a 10 minute break in between. This forces you to practice applying the content that you've reviewed to a broad range of different skills and question contexts, as well as to pull in content from the entire course rather than just the narrow unit that you've been recently reviewing. It'll also help you build up the stamina that you'll need to power through that exam in May. Now you can ask your teacher to assign you full length practice exams through AP Classroom or to print them off and have you take them in class. But if you buy the ultimate review packet, you'll get two additional full length practice exams. And what I love about these two practice exams in the ultimate review packet is that they were written by veteran apes teachers who are real question writers for the real apes exam in May. So you can trust that these questions are totally aligned to the skills and content that you need to review 
And they also have answer rationales for every single question. So you can analyze the mistakes that you made on your practice exam and target your studying going forward. Now this targeted studying is really important. After you take a full length practice exam, your teacher can either help you use a diagnostic tool that's available in my link tree to analyze the units that you struggled the most on and target your studying going forward. Or you can use the same diagnostic tool, which will be in the ultimate review packet to learn from the mistakes you made on the ultimate review packet full length practice exams. And again, tailor your studying to the topics and the skills that you struggle with the most. Thanks for tuning in today, Ape Scholars. I hope this video helps you feel more prepared for that exam in May. And I hope that however you study, you make sure you're using retrieval practice to accurately recall content and that you're doing lots of FRQ practice writing and that you're scoring those FRQs with rubrics. As always, think like a mountain and write like a scholar.